morning guys, my name's Alex. I live in a van with my girlfriend Marcelo and our two dogs. And this is my daily vlog. Okay guys, so one of the reasons we came up here to this car park is so we get this sun. Ta-da! Because down at where we usually stay, um, it's good for the dogs and everything, but it's a bit it's a bit gloomy this time of year. Now the reason I really need the sun is yeah, the batteries need a good charge, but even more of a priority than that really is these doors, they're getting wet around the edges, if you can see, and it's really getting quite bad in places. You can see last night it's got wet here and then frozen. I mean, look how black this is getting. So obviously I need to dry that out, but I also need to figure out why it's happening. Uh, and there's a couple of reasons it could be. Uh, one is it could just be condensation off these, these screws, but the amount of, the amount of um, water that's there, I, I'd say it's more than just condensation because it even runs down. It's been running down into here and I've had um, like near enough puddles here. And you can see how, look, it's been dripping out here from the back. Like, look at that, that's, probably, that's from inside, it's dripped out. It's safe to say that that's more than condensation, I would say. So either the seals are knackered on the back door just from them being frozen and then getting ripped open all the time. Because, um, I mean, this happened last year, but it was like nowhere near as bad as it is now. The other theory I've got is, when um, I was in Tarifa this summer, my door was round, you know as I go round like this? My door was round like this, and um, some lady reversed back and hit it, and then ever since then the, the door has been a little out of line. I've tried lining it back up and it's really solid, uh, but you see that? So that used to go together solid, you know, nice and square on, um, but the door, the door's always still shut since that point. So I've never really, it's never really caused me any issues. But I'm thinking now maybe that it's moved the door a little bit out of line to cause the seal not to seal at the top properly. You can see the seal is wet of it here. First things first, get it all dried out. And then I might just pull the seal out of it, you know, like this. No, that's not going to work. I'm not sure yet. I'll have a think about it today and see what happens and uh, I'll tell you what sort of solutions I come up with. I mean, look at this, look how much water, look at that. Can you see that ice? That's a, that's a lot of water, you know? The condensation generally doesn't gather on plastic, so that's got to be leaking. Look at the mould I've just found on this. It's always a bit of a battle with the mould in the winter. So if you saw yesterday's vlog, you'll see that last night we emptied the water out of the tank um, and out the water heater to stop it freezing up. And I thought, to be honest, that this morning we'll be able to put some fresh water in and it'll be fine, but I just put some fresh water in and it's um, the pump worked for like a, a few seconds and then stopped. So I'm guessing there's a bit of ice in the pipes. There must have been a bit of water left in the pipes and it's frozen. I'm sure it'll thaw out soon so we can wash up. I do have a, a heat probe in the tank, but it's just, the problem with it is, the pipe comes from the tank there, the insulated one, but it's just insulated, you know? There's no um, like heater wire, you can get like a heating element wire that goes around the pipe inside the insulation. Uh, and I'd advise to do that, because this doesn't work. <laughs> okay, so, uh, kind of things have got a bit deeper. Look into the back, see a little bit more mold going a little bit deeper, so everything is, I got a lot of stuff out. Not everything, but I got a lot of stuff out because uh, it's very hairy. Hairy, hairy, hairy. It's hairy. One thing I haven't got with me is some mold spray, actually, which is like a really good thing to have in the van for winter. So I'm just gonna wipe it off, dry it out, and then um, next time I do this, I'll get some. I'll have some mold spray with me so I can like really. Like, so I haven't got any bleach or nothing, so. Have we got bleach, actually? No. Ah, uh, so, yeah. Make do with what you got. So for the benefit of any of you guys out there doing a build, and you're gonna use your van in the winter, which you're probably gonna, put heat into the back, put a vent. I, I so wish that I had a vent coming from my diesel heater on a T-piece into the back here, and then all this just, it just wouldn't be a problem, you know? Um, and I could just shut it off. I could, I'd only need to do it like once every few days, just like open the tea piece and bit of van life knowledge there for you. Okay, so these all better, you know. You know they're not great still. So don't get, don't get me wrong. If I was to do this again to build this, 
these back doors like this again, I'd probably, to be honest, either glue them, one option, not probably not the top option, but maybe um, put a thin piece, thin piece of wood first and then screw these into the piece of wood. But obviously you've got to make sure the door's going to close. Yeah, it'd be fine. I mean, there's plenty of room here, actually. There's plenty of room here if it's closed. So, I, I'd, I'd, yeah, if I was to do this again, I'd put a thin piece of wood, like um, maybe this sort of thickness, maybe even half of that and uh, attach that to the metal and then screw into the wood so you haven't got like direct metal and metal i mean no matter what conversations are and you're never gonna you're never really gonna beat it but you can put up a good fight all in here nice and clean now uh I've wiped it down with some like dettol stuff give it another month and have another look in there probably be just as hairy. As for the seals, they don't look that old, to be honest, or that um, that worn at least. I mean, there's little bits of perished bits on them, but um, nothing that would indicate they don't work still. So I think um, I'm going to wait till it rains actually, and then um, after it's rained, I'll open the doors and see where's wet on the on the seal and see if they are leaking anywhere, and then go from there. I've just been sorting the upload out for yesterday's vlog, which has been a bit of a pain actually. Where we are, the um, internet, you know. Internet. So I'm going to sign this vlog off here for today and we are going to stay here in the same place for tomorrow as well to get a bit more sun and also to sort out another problem tomorrow. Okay guys, see you tomorrow. Night. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you liked it. If you did, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and ding my bell because you won't even know if I've uploaded a video otherwise. Cheers guys. See you on the next one. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Bonjour now. Okay. What did I say last time? Uh...